And Paul was just saying, I cannot handle this. Wow. Imagine being in a large spiritual community where there's all the stimulation around you and chatter and, and always involved in assignments and activities and working here and doing this and this and this and then being there in a, in a house that's completely stocked with everything you need to live. A whole house given to you to stay in. And the terror of the silence. Now that starts to show you what the terror is really about. It's the, the small still voice. Mm -hmm. Be still and know that I am God. The mind that gets invested in this world gets so caught into the chatter that it's, there's nothing more terrifying than silence. Than the feeling of being alone. All alone in the world. Wow. And that's really what's underneath it. And, and so I would say that, you know, as you're taking this leap, I mean, that's, as you go along and you let the Spirit pour through you and you shine your light and travel and everything, you'll be clearing away, making your mind ready for that still experience where you see that you're the Christ. In the silence of your mind. That's where we get that recognition. We can't get it if we're chattering. You can have all this experience from going away and have these great skills to come back and teach and you're marketable. So you could just add this, this beautiful experience to, uh, to basic um, gifts of being a teacher or whatever. It's just an expansion of what you have. Uh, my name is Everett. Uh, I came in a little late. Uh, what is the name of this philosophy we're dealing with here? Uh, I just call it the present moment. Um, it's just the now. And uh, it, it goes by many different names in different traditions, but the philosophies themselves are kind of like bridges into it. They kind of point, they're like signposts. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the fun part of what you just walked into. It's, it's not, it doesn't really have a name. <laughs> and, and, and we've been kind of having an open discussion where everybody can uh, bring forth whatever they're, they're guided to share. Any questions or issues, and uh, it's a real free flow. <laughs> I've heard of uh, some philosophy called theosophy. Yes. Now, how does this relate to that? If you know anything about theosophy? Yeah. Because I don't know what it is, but I used to see it in the village well, it sounds interesting, but I've never pursued it. Yeah, Theosophy, the Theosophical Society, uh, has been around for a long time. And they were into, I would say, metaphysics, meta being going beyond the physical, yeah. uh, getting back into your mind, getting back into your thoughts. Uh, there's a lot of, there's some churches nowadays that, that get metaphysical. Um, I think of like Unity or Christian Science, that very much focused on the thought and the mind. Uh, Ernest Holmes, Science of Mind. Um, and what we teach is that those are all very helpful stepping stones. Uh, Christine has been talking about Hare Krishnas, joining with the Hare Krishnas, uh, chanting, um, meditation. Hans has brought up meditation. We even have a gong <laughs> that we have that came in today. That what he's trying to Eric, what he's talking about is. The, the, it's the highest point that say in yoga that you're studying. The highest point in Tai Chi. He's starting from the top down instead of from the breathing, the concentration, yeah. from the uh, kind of the uh, ethical aspects of, of, of these practices. But he's talking, he's talking from the absolute down instead of from the, these practices in the relative up. Um, this is actually, I mean, the Indians have a name for it, they call it Yana Yoga, or, or it's actually parts of Buddhism and, and, and Taoism, but all the major religions, they include the, these teachings, they just use slightly different, they use different terms, you know, it might be, uh, okay. so it's kind of a universal mm -hmm. teaching that David's putting through, right? Oh yeah, we're using all kinds of names, from Hare Krishna <laughs> to Jesus to <laughs> Buddha, <laughs> Krishna, uh, well, not terribly dogmatic then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you don't have any hard and fast uh, rules. You don't eat meat on Friday or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We eat Republicans on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very lively. In fact, what I say is that discipline is, is important. That's why the different traditions have 
of routines, rituals, things, because those are symbols that are helpful, and there are many different ones, but you start to move into disciplining your mind and your heart to a way of living, to an experience where the other stuff can fall away. So then, you know, we always say, I travel all over the world, I just came from Argentina, I'm going over to Europe, uh, I eat what's served, uh, I go where I'm invited, I have no one to convince, there's I'm not trying to proselytize or, or convince anybody of anything, or change their minds even. Mm -hmm. I focus on my purpose and sharing, letting the light shine through me. And it's really fun. It, it, it goes everywhere. Like we're doing a gathering here, but uh, our friend Hilton put us up at the, the Courtyard Marriott, and, and uh, Kathy and I were kind of rejoicing with the staff. Uh, we've been joking and yeah, laughing yeah. and everything. And, and I told the staff they were behind the desk, the front desk, and I said, oh, i got a great job. I get to just go around the world and talk about love and forgiveness. And one woman, she said, oh, another Dr. Phil. <laughs> and I said, no. I said, I don't really offer advice uh, per se on specifically how to live your life. It's more talking about thoughts and releasing and concepts and so forth. But, and I said, I'm really not into judgment. And she went, oh, Dr. Phil still judges. <laughs> but I said, because the joy is just accepting everyone just exactly as they are. And we were all laughing, the whole staff we were laughing with, the, the maid the maid was telling the, the the manager of the place, you know, I wouldn't have your job for anything, and the manager was saying, come up here and see how it feels to be behind the desk of the manager, and she said, no, 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 I sit there and I scrub and I have my conversations with spirit and everything, you know, and we just had this ongoing uh, laughter with the whole staff, and that's what it's about, it's really about everyone you meet, it's not so much a particular place or a particular system or philosophy. And waking up. Mm -hmm. <laughs>